this video we're going to be working a little bit with tabular joins. Now, tabular joins are pretty common in ArcGIS and generally they occur when we have a shape file that we want to attach to say a flat table that has some attributes that we're interested in and we don't already have those available in the shape file. So in this case I'm working with census tracts for Bronx in New York City and I want to attach some attributes from a flat file to the shape file. Now, starting out, I can quickly just take a look at the attributes in my shape file by right clicking on the layer that I've already added to my project and clicking on Open Attribute Table. So at this point, I have some very basic information about the census tract. I have a unique census tract ID number, I have some descriptive information, and a variety of other information that breaks down the state and the county and the tract ID. But I don't actually see any demographic information and that's what ultimately I'm after and I have that information in a table. So within ArcGIS I can add a table directly into my project the same way I would a shapefile or a feature class by clicking on the add data button. Now here's my flat table and when I add it, I'll see it in my table of contents. But keep in mind that at this point, ArcGIS doesn't really know what to do with that table yet. What I need to do is tie this table to my layer. And in order to do that, I need to use a tabular join. In order for the tabular join to work, I have to have some unique key between both the shape file and the table that match that essentially give me a way to tie the two together. So let's take a look at the tables and see what that key might be. First, opening my shape file attribute table by right clicking on it and clicking on open attribute table will get me started. Next, going to my attribute table for the flat file, I can right click on it, click open, and start seeing if I can find some unique key to tie the two together. If all goes well, all of this demographic information that I have here will end up as additional columns up here. So, looking at this quickly, I can see that both tables do indeed have a census tract number. And this is what I'm going to use to tie the two together. Now one thing that I have to keep in mind when I'm trying to identify columns that I can tie together is that while they don't have to be named the same thing, in other words both columns don't have to be called STFID for my join tour, they do have to be of similar data types. So a good clue is that if my data tends to be left justified, it's a text value. If it's right justified, it's numeric. And I can only join text values to text values and numeric values to numeric values. So if in one of these columns my values were right justified and in the other they were left justified, this next step won't work. So closing both tables, I can now go back to my original shape file, right click on the shape file, go to joins and relates, and click join. Now keep in mind I'm starting with the shape file. I'm joining the attribute table from my flat file to my shape file. You can do a join the other way, but I don't want to do that because what that would do is take the attributes out of my shape file and simply add them to my flat file. So when you're doing this step, make sure that you've selected the shape file for the join. So clicking on join, I now open up the join data window, making sure that our first option is to join attributes from a table. I can move to step one, which is going to let me select the column that I identified for the first step of the join. Now, as soon as I do that, ArcGIS will try and pick a similar field within 
the table that it finds. If I had more than one table, I would just need to make sure that it had picked the right one. But in this case, I only have one table. It has selected the right one. And I can skip to step three and simply pick the matching column. Now you'll notice that my list is much smaller than all of the other columns that were in the original table. And that's because for step one, I've picked a text value field. In step three, it's only going to show me fields that match that type. So this is a good clue. If you know that you should be able to do a join because you have, say, census tract in both fields, but you're not seeing the option to pick the correct field here, it's likely because one of them is stored as text and one of them is stored as numeric. So converting one of those columns to a different data type will usually solve your problem. In this case, I pick STFID. And for my join options, I'm going to keep all records. I click OK. And if this worked, then the next time I open up the attribute table for my shape file, I should now see all of that great demographic data included. And there it is. So with that information, I can now start building my map. However, I want to take this one step further. The join right now is simply in memory, meaning it hasn't actually physically altered or changed my shapefile. What I want to really do to make sure that I've permanently attached all of the demographic information from my table is I want to now export this as a brand new shapefile with that information included. And the way I do that is I right click on my shapefile, go down to data, then click on export data. From here, I can give my new shapefile a new name. And click OK. Now it asks me if I want to add it back in my map. I'll click yes. Again, I can open up my brand new shapefile just to see if that demographic data is still there. And it is. So from here, I can begin building my map and I should be off and running. And that's it. That's the basics of doing a tabular join within ArcGIS.